Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland, and joining me today is Greg Elliott, Vice President of Business Development at 1623 Farnham, leading up to PTC 22. Greg, welcome back to JSA TV. Thanks for having me again, Laura. It's great to be here. Well, 2021 was a huge year for connectivity. Tell us a little bit about what 1623's year looked like in terms of keeping up with that demand. And as we lead up to PTC, what milestones are you most excited to share? Yes, uh, 2021 was another crazy year um, as it applies to connectivity and, and new fiber builds. You know, some of the things that we saw in 1623 um, that were, were super exciting, uh, tell you, uh, had their their new long haul fiber build from Chicago through Des Moines, uh, through us in Omaha, and then on to uh, Denver and beyond. So that that was huge. That's a great great accomplishment in creating a lot of activity. And then you know everything from 5G to fiber the home builds to all the um, hyperscaler activity and in, in Council Bluffs, Iowa, and Omaha. That's that's just creating a ton of ton of things. And then on top of that, you have, you know, the COVID effect, the the work from home, and, and existing carriers trying to figure out, you know, where they need to move capacity. So that created, you know, more and more um, need for connectivity. So, you know, it's it's all, you know, from a fiber perspective that that's been incredible and then in the media room our ecosystem in the in the media, media room has grown uh, leaps and bounds um everything from you know new new content providers to new isps uh exciting to announce that uh new new carriers next gen carriers like subspace have just uh, added to the media room as well as packet fabric so you know going into 2022 it's you know continuing to build that ecosystem so it's been great well, in addition to the success in 2021 for 1623, your facility also completed a major upgrade this past year. So what new advantages does this deliver to clients? Yeah, so that definitely was a huge undertaking. Uh, two years and $40 million in, in new power infrastructure, cooling infrastructure, all the while having existing data center customers up and active. So we're definitely happy to see that in the rear view mirror and I'm excited to have essentially a brand new building with new infrastructure. And with that new power infrastructure, it certainly creates efficiencies. And as we continue to load the building, uh, we'll, we'll see uh, better efficiencies for, for us and for our customers. And then with some of the new cooling infrastructure, um, we actually, it's, there's a free cooling involved in it. And so being in, in Nebraska, we've been able to take advantage of that uh, free co cooling as of late. So those are, those are a couple different uh, ways we will be more efficient moving forward. Um, and then we added new uh, diverse fiber vaults, the building. And so we're, we're already seeing those to, to become filled with fiber, uh, plenty of capacity, but it's good to see those um, being filled up as well. 1623's Edge Data Center is a major nexus of connectivity, strategically located, as you mentioned, in Nebraska, in the center of the U.S. So as the experts on this topic, if you could give one piece of advice for businesses looking to build the ideal and most advanced connectivity fabric, what would that be? That's going to be hard to do in just one. Um, I will try to narrow it down to three, maybe, let's say. Um, so, so the, the interesting, this, what's always been interesting to me in, in the carrier hotel and the interconnected edge space is edge data center space is that, you know, you, you can, you can look at the ecosystem and grow that ecosystem. And so, at, you know, as over the years, I look at it from a customer point of view. Um, and so, you know, yeah, I, I asked, you know, what, what would be good for my customer's business and, and as, as they scale and grow and pivot as needed. And so with, with a facility like ours, um, you have, you know, 50 carriers and ISPs within the meeting room, you have content providers, you have, now you have these next gen carriers like Megaport and Packet Fabric and, and all the, the cool cloud uh, on ramps that the customers can connect into and the internet exchange. So, so as you know, I, I, I always tell the customer to look at the ecosystem and how, you know, maybe, 
maybe it, you haven't seen things that come up, but to have that scalability, flexibility with a, just a cross connect or setting up a VPN quickly um, is, is super powerful. Um, you know, for our customers. And then, you know, you, I always tell people to look at the ownership of the building. Um, so, so with 1623, we're super fortunate to have a great ownership group in the Bradley family and uh, long-term holders and, you know, anything we need and, and super customer friendly. And then, you know, our operations team is, is uh, unbelievable too. We get like a w- weekly, we get compliments on, on how, you know, how, how the, the operations team has gone above and beyond to help our customers. So, you know, just, it's just super fun to be a part of that type of ecosystem. And then third, you know, you mentioned it before, location, 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 you know, as we see different workloads evolving and latencies come into play, uh, it's, it's just really important to, to look at, you know, you know, routes, you know, latency routes and, and where, the uh, data center sits um, within that that geographic and, and what your, your business is trying to accomplish. So sorry I didn't get it done in one, but a lot, of, a lot to add there. I'll let it slide this time, Greg. No, that was great information, great information. Well, and it, Greg, is, as you know, so many technologies like augmented and virtual reality, 5G, cloud gaming, and more, they're all redefining IT and digital business as we know it. So does this mean that being at the edge is more critical than ever? Yeah, yeah. So the edge uh, definitely is, is pushing closer and closer to the, the end user. And, and the interesting thing is, you know, the edge is, is different, um, defined differently by different people. So it depends on what you're trying to accomplish. You know, everything from 5G cars can be an edge to, you see, um, you know, edge moving closer into to factories and warehouses and 5G applications and healthcare, uh, virtuality and, and augmented reality. And, and so, so yes, the edge is pushing closer and closer to the end user, whatever that may be. Um, the, the good news is that, you know, carrier hotels and interconnected facilities are, are ex- definitely an extreme part of, you know, making all that work. Um, and we're fortunate that, you know, People and and machines keep creating more and more data every second. So uh, definitely job security for years and years to come for for all of us in this industry. So we're we're fortunate to be here, and it's exciting to see the edge of all. Greg, we talked a lot about the success of 2021 and even before that. So lots of momentum happening at 1623. Can you give us some hints about what's on the horizon? What's next for 1623? Yeah, just uh, continuing to grow that ecosystem, uh, new new carriers um, from rural, you know, just regional carriers to international carriers, um, new content providers, new applications, new cloud on ramps. So all those things are going to be happening in in 22, 2022 and beyond. And and then adding to the the Omaha IX can, continues to grow rapidly. And then the last thing I'll add is uh, pre-COVID, we used to do an event called Meet in the Middle. It's a really um, great industry event where you know people would come in from all over, um, from telecom and data center uh, to just meet. Um, we have a golf tournament, scavenger hunt, networking events, and, and we're actually going to bring it back this year. So September 21st, 22nd. Uh, we'll be hosting that. Everybody's invited. It'll be a, a great party. So keep your eyes open for that and, and uh, we'll keep you posted. That sounds like a lot of fun. A great time. Okay. Market calendars. In the meantime, Greg, lots of news looks like we'll be coming out of 1623 in the near future. So where can our viewers go to learn more? Yeah, anytime you reach out to me via email or, or phone, or you can go to our website, um, 1623. Um, farnum.com and and reach out there um, as well. So thank you very much. All righty. Sounds great. Always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us, Greg. Thanks, Laura. And thank you viewers for tuning into JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking.